Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. As we often say, TTM is just an abbreviation, stands for through the mail. We like to get autographs, TTM, or through the mail, by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and photographs through the mail, asking for their autograph, and put a self-addressed stamped envelope in the envelope with it, and you'll be surprised how many times you can get a return. When you do, come to YouTube, share the information. That way we can all share and maybe get an autograph from our favorite person as well. Without further ado, we've got four today. Um, and let's get right to it. First one's coming from the Metroplex, Michigan. We've got a few requests out in that area. So, I don't know who it could be right off the top of my head. Oh, it's Keith Miller. Keith Miller, 56-year-old former utility player for nine seasons from 87 to 95. And I sent him a bunch. He's a very good signer and is willing to sign more than three or four cards at a time. He played nine seasons, and he played half of them with the Mets and half of them with the Royals, as you see here. Signed five of five. Guys, you know I don't more than usually send three. Max out at four, but for great signers like Keith Miller, I decided, I think I said you, he can keep some if he wants to keep them. Didn't have to sign them all. He ended up signing them all, but, um, you know, he's another very reliable signer I wanted to send just to test the water, so to speak, because, you know, as I said, I've, I, I was really giving some thought when all this coronavirus scare broke out that, um, you know, maybe it's time to step down our TTMs and take a little break. And I thought, well, I'm going to send to the mainstays in the hobby just to see if, how it's going to continue, if it's going to continue. And, of course, you know, the Postal Service came out and said there's a very, very, very low percentage chance uh, to transfer COVID-19 through the mail, of course. But that's just a statement. You know, perception is reality. And, you know, who knew if, you know, they would – believe, if they believe they could get it through the mail, why would they answer a TTM request? Um, so who knew how it would play out in the real world? So, you know, I've decided I'm going to send to the mainstays. I'm going to send to Sid Bream, uh, Ron Gant, Zane Smith, Bryn Smith, Keith Miller, um, and baseball, and Rocky Blyer, Roger Craig, Jim Lachey, and football, and just to see, get back to basics. And of course, Keith Miller is a long-time dependable TTM guy. I've never received him through the mail, but uh, I've seen plenty of other people do it. And uh, so I'm getting him back. I'm getting him back from Ron Gant, Sid Bream, and uh, a host of other players. In fact, they're coming in faster now than they were before, uh, frankly. So, you know, he was a utility man, kind of a backup role most of his career, but he's most famous now, I guess, for being a, a, an agent to some great players, David Wright and Brandon Inge and Scott Rowland. So that's what he currently does. But again, uh, no fee for Keith Miller. I got that back in six days. He's always very quick, always willing to sign several at a time. So that's nice. This next one is coming from New York, New York. Maybe the same place that Henry S. got his because I knew how to request out. And it is Dick Perez. 80-year-old artist known for his baseball paintings. He's done them for the Hall of Fame, and he's done them for Don Russ, of course. Those Don Russ Diamond Kings that we grew up loving, That was most of them were painted by Dick Perez. He painted that Hank Aaron puzzle, painted the Willie Stargell. I got him to sign those, two of two. Um, that, that gig for him started in 1982 is when he first did the Diamond King series, and we all love to get our Diamond King cards signed. Uh, I've since run across a Diamond King checklist that I can get him to sign as well, but I'd already sent these two off. Uh, so pretty cool. He's currently doing work for Tops in their Turkey Red series. And uh, I got that back. No fee for Dick Perez. 24 days. New York, New York. I think I sent that to Pennsylvania. So check that address. Third one is coming from Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A., and it's Hall of Famer Roger Worley. My second return from Roger Worley over the years. He does charge a $5 fee, but he's a Hall of Famer. As you see the inscription, Hall of Famer.
Hall of Fame 07. 72 years old, he was a cornerback for 14 years, from 69 to 82. Known for his speed. He ran a 4.540 when very few people were running 4.540s. And none other than Roger Staubach called him the best cornerback he's ever faced. So that's high praise from my favorite player of all time. Great career. He was on that 1970s all-decade team. And as I often say, those all-decade teams, you just look at those teams, player for player, right down the list, filled with Hall of Famers. And he's no exception. Roger Worley was uh, inducted to the College Football Hall of Fame in 03 and the NFL Hall of Fame, as it says here, in 07. There is a $5 fee, but I got that back in seven days, and I think I got the first one I sent to him in back in seven days. Roger Worley. Fourth one's coming from Louisville, Kentucky. No card. No card holder, I mean. It's another Hall of Famer to Michael Louis Dampier. We saw this uh, PRISM card and maybe this card, too, on a Mail Day video recently. Very recently, because I just sent this out to Louis Dampier. Great player, Hall of Famer. Went to the University of Kentucky. Was a Hall of Famer there. Two-time All-American. Um, five days turnaround time. Gee, many Christmas. Five days. He's 72 years old. Uh, we played guard, ABA and NBA. He was... Uh, 13 seasons from 67 to 79. Please don't go off. I hope I didn't lose my sound. Uh